Hey everybody, John the Pilot, I'm back. And today I'm gonna be talking about what I do to work out my back and my lats utilizing the SF3. Also, you can do this with the FTX and I'm gonna show you how. Yay, dip belt. Way to assist the pull-ups with the dip belt are awesome on the SF3. You just gotta get used to figuring out how to get yourself on the dip belt and adjusting your weights to your liking. The great thing is you can also do this on the FTX because it comes with the same gear and has the same pull-up bars. Well, close. So one thing I wanted to point out, when you just put this down and you do a straight assisted pull up, for me, I'm like, yes, I'm a little bit tall. However, I found that if I use my knees on the dip belt, I can get a really, really good extension all the way down from the lats from where the pull up bars are back up again. The only thing is it's kind of tricky to get your knees up here. So you gotta be really careful. So what I found is I push the dip belt down and then I lock kind of on my shins where it needs to go. Real quick disclaimer, if you choose to do it that way, be really, really careful because unfortunately it's a little bit unstable. However, I figured out how to do it. I really love these workouts. It really helps out my lats. It's probably the number one thing that I could do with the SF3 or if I had the FTX. I would recommend is if you try to do it this way, you could always utilize the bench and put the bench down here and use it as a step to get up on there. That may be a better option if for whatever reason you have balance issues or something like that. Take it real slow, get used to the equipment, then try to put your workout together. One of the coolest things I figured out about using this SF3 is I got some really good foot anchor points at the base, right there and right there. For me, this is a really nice wide lat pull down utilizing single handles. So it feels really good. The other thing I like about this too is I can get a little creative and I can kind of do these, I don't know, like pull in bicep style workouts just because it's really, really good for my grip strength and I can feel it working the inside of my lat. I don't know if I can explain that any better. Another thing that's great about it is all I have to do is change the height of my pulley system and I can kind of target different areas of my lats really quick. So a real easy one to do is take both of your handles put them on one pulley system and get in a really good low row. Posture is important on this one, I think. And if that's not enough weight for you, take your easy curl bar, attach it to both, set your weight how you want it, and then do the same thing, utilizing both of the base points as your feet's anchor. And man, you're, you're pulling in with different style grips, whatever weight your heart desires. Just remember, be careful, don't pull a muscle or anything, because yeah, they're only 160 pound weight stacks, plenty of weight for me. One workout that I absolutely love is the single arm lat pull down and you can kind of change where your arm goes to target the different areas of the muscle groups from your biceps and all the way around your lats. Plus when I was a lot younger and I was back in my army days I was doing one arm pull ups and it all started out with this one workout. It's a really really good thing. best thing I love about it is how easy it is to switch to the other arm. Alright guys, that'll do it for this video. I showed you a bunch of variations of the stuff that I do and I kind of mix things up and I throw a little bit of cardio in between. If you found value in this video and you liked it, smash the like button. If you found value and you want to see more, please subscribe. It'll help me out tremendously. It'll help me grow my channel. Please comment in the description below. Ask me questions. Tell me if you'd like to see some other things. I'd be more than happy to help. Otherwise, have a great day. John the Pilot. See ya.